We're almost finished. We'll have this water wheel ready in no time. Then you can pay me the 95 cents you owe me for the labor. What's this? Could it possibly be? Gold! Gold! Mr. Sutter, I quit! tomorrow. Go west, young man. Yes, that's it. Go west. We're ready to go, Wagon Master. We'll be with you all the way to Oregon, where they say land is fertile. We'll be rich as kings. What about you, cowboys? Are you ready? We're ready, boss. What's the hurry? We can only go to pace these cattle, and those longhorns got the pace of their own. The longhorn shorehorns looks like I'm saddled with a bunch of greenhorns. Don't worry, boss. The miners are ready to go with an itch to get rich. We're going to be at the end of Idaho, boss, and we're heading south of California. We'll be rich in a matter of days. You people are crazy. Where I go by wagon to the west, there will be deserts, blizzards, no water, sand, skunks, and snakes. Why don't you come along with us on my sensational steamboat? We'll go down to New Orleans, then take a clipper ship, round the horn, and beat you all to California by a week and a day. We'll be rich. Why are you still plodding along? Poor engines. We'll see about that, Mr. Sutter. We'll see about that. It won't be long before I can make this trip by a locomotive. I've got the golden spike right here. That will join the rails from east and west to make wagon trains a thing of the past. Railroads, that's the way to get rich in the west. That could be true, Mr. Henry, but in the meantime, wagon train is all we've got. What about you, Mr. Brigham Young? We're ready to go, boss, and I can tell you now we're going to make that desert blossom as the rose. I'm sure you will, Mr. Young. I'm sure you will. Speaking of roses, are you ready, all Rose? 
Of course I'm ready, mister. Come on, boys, let's get a move on. I'm on my way to Texas and I haven't got time to waste. I'm with you, Rose. Listen, boys, I've been rich and, uh, and I've been poor. Rich is better and I plan to be it. I've heard the new state of Texas is the place to be for real riches and adventure. Remember the Alamo! Everybody wants to get rich. Well, enough of this, John. Load them up and let's get going. Now just a minute, Wagon Master. Oh boy, here we go. Another long-winded speech by a politician. As mayor of Independence, I want to take this auspicious occasion to say that this new adventure that you're about to embark will change our lives and our land forever. And don't forget your little old friends back here in the East and all we have done for you. Now bon voyage, my friends, and may God speed. Ladies and gentlemen, pathfinders and prospectors, cowpokes and gamblers, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Well, wagons ho, everybody. Wagons ho.
covered wagon and travels through mountain passes and quicksand. We'll fight off mountain lions, rattlesnakes, and scorpions, and a whole slew of other unpleasant trees, and maybe make it to the west more dead than alive. Or you could hop aboard our luxury steamboat. We'll ride on smooth waters and three square meals a day and enjoy entertainment nightly. Hmm, I just can't decide. All aboard, all aboard the Mississippi Queen, the newest steamboat in the newest land. All aboard. All aboard. some old steamboat. I'm heading west on iron horses. Iron horse? What do you mean, Mr. Cooper? I mean railroad. I got a whole locomotive here I call the Tom Thumb. I guarantee it'll be the fastest and best way to get to the west this country has ever seen. You must be kidding. Ride that thing all the way out west? No train locomotive could ever be as fast or as reliable as a good team of horses. Now that's where you're wrong, sir. I'm so confident that my Tom Thumb is the fastest way to the west that I'll do you a week's pay that my train can outrace your horse any day. Outrace my horse with that contraption? You're on. Is Tom Thumb ready? <coughs> is the horse ready? I'm heading west. I'm taking my dreams the fastest way by far, the locomotive. 
Now hold your horses there, friend. You're right that the locomotive is a great way to get to the west, but first we've got to lay miles and miles of track. I knew there was going to be a catch. But don't worry, already a team of workers is laying down track from the east to west and west to east. It won't be long till the two meet and give us a full track. I hold here the golden spike that will connect the two. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's make some tracks of our own. You're singing my song, partner. They'll welcome in kind. It will be warm enough for winter, even though it may seem odd. We'll build our home, I pray, and we'll build our home, I saw it. I will live by myself in the side of a hill and everything that I say. I'll bury inside my home, for my home will be a cave. My home is made for travel. It's portable, you see. Made from hides and poles, it comes and goes with me. We'll build our home in a shady glen from logs and mud and stone. And though we're far from all we've loved, we'll never be alone. Our journey may be lonesome, but anywhere we roam, where we work together side by side, that will be our home. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, we've heard it before. The only gold we found is fool's gold. The trip to the west was not filled with all the treasures the travelers had expected. It sure took us longer than we thought to make the desert bloom as a rose. But wait, the gold in them there hills is as much there today as it's ever been. What do you mean? Look, everybody around from the west didn't get rich by finding rivers running with gold. I'll say! But the riches of the west were discovered many other places. Like what? Like the waving fields of grain. I like the bounties of the forest. The wonders of the ocean. The wide open spaces with room enough to grow. All of that and more. The West is about ideas as much as anything else. you can be. The idea that anything is possible. And that you have the right to pursue it. Hey, that's the American dream. And that, my friends, is the real gold of the American West. There's gold in them, there hills, all right. And in the rivers. The mountains. The plains and in the people who use their ideas to pursue that American dream. It's all gold! Let's go get some!
Yeah, maybe you came for gold. Or, or silver. silver. Or maybe you came for the land. Land, how do we get land? The Homestead Act of 1832. Oh, I forget what that is. The law gave settlers free ownership of their plot of land after they lived on it for five years. Each plot was 160 acres. If you could last the journey, there were so many reasons to go west.